so we're gonna start with the first part of the experiment which is the star gelatinization uh, first we will obtain two 36 grams of cornstarch and then one sample of 16 grams of citric acid we're gonna place the weighing boat and tear it all right then I can place my 36 grams of cornstarch Okay, so now we have the two samples of cornstarch, one of them without, one of them with 16 grams of citric acid. They both have f uh, 500 milliliter of water. We're gonna uh, pour the water and mix. This is the one with the acid. We have the same amounts of uh, cornstarch. And now I'm mixing the cornstarch with water without acid. So now we obtain a small sample of the cornstarch uh, water without acid on a microscope slide. Just one, two, and put a drop or two of the potassium iodide make sure it covers it you can see the color change put a cover slide and look at it under microscope so now we start turning on the, our microscope turn on the light and push the stage a little bit up a bit forward and we'll place our slide. So now we push the stage up and start with the lowest magnification to try to find our sample. So this is the cornstarch without acid, getting both along with mixing it. And this is the second sample, which is the cornstarch with the citric acid, getting it to boil. So now the two mixtures started boiling, we can lower the heat and cover them up for 10 more minutes. So after heating, we have to also get sample of the cornstarch without acid, put it on the slide, get more, small sample, and we will place again potassium iodide, like a drop to cover it. Right, and we can look look it up under the microscope. So after uh, pouring the sample into uh, sample cups. One of them the cornstarch, one of them the cornstarch with citric acid. You can see how the cornstarch started the uh, gelatinization. However, the one with the citric acid, as you can see, it's more watery. So now I can put both of my samples in the fridge to observe it later. Now we start using the Boswick consistometer to observe the clarity of suspensions. We will start at 70 degrees Celsius and continue decreasing at 15 degrees intervals. So this is the Boswick. Uh, you can see how the water bubble has to be in the center 
you can adjust it using these your sample can be so your sample can be put here and lower this down you lock it and then you can use a flat stick to flatten your sample and you should uh, set your timer to a minute hold it and start it like this it can travel up to 24 centimeters so this is the cornstarch sample without acid this is the bus week uh, i just put my sample here at the reading of the temperature was 70 starting with 70 celsius i will hit it and start a timer for a minute Okay, and you can see what it got after a minute. So, this is the recording of cornstarch without acid at 55 Celsius after a minute. Okay, cornstarch without acid at 40 Celsius reading after a minute. So this is the reading for cornstarch without acid at 25 Celsius. So this is the cornstarch sample uh, plus acid. Uh, first temperature is 70 Celsius. I'm gonna start the bus week for a minute. So after a minute, this is the reading of the cornstarch plus citric acid. Okay, so this is the cornstarch plus citric acid at 55 Celsius. And now this is the uh, cornstarch plus citric acid at 40 Celsius. You can see it reached uh, 24 centimeters. So last one for cornstarch with citric acid at 25 Celsius. You can see it's still watery. So cornstarch, cornstarch plus citric acid samples after placing it, uh, placing them in the fridge. Now I will, we will observe the texture. This is the one with citric acid. So part two of the experiment, which is the starch pudding, we obtained two uh, different kinds of uh, starch, which is the pure cornstarch and the waxy cornstarch. We got 24 grams of each. Uh, uh, we me already measured it. And we have uh, 65 grams of sucrose, table sugar, and five grams of butter. And here we have milk with vanilla extract. So first we start by pouring the uh, uh, milk in vanilla with the corn starch and we're gonna add the corn starch with also the sucrose try to get everything in the weighing bowl and along with the sucrose Now you mix them, then we move to the waxy cornstarch, start with pouring uh, milk and vanilla, the waxy cornstarch, and the sucrose, and mix them up. So this is the waxy cornstarch mix, and this is the uh, pure cornstarch where we will keep uh, stirring both on medium high until it gets smooth. Then finally, uh, we will record the time, how long did it take to boil, and the temperature. So after boiling, this is the waxy cornstarch pudding. Uh, it took three and a half minutes to boil, and this is the temperature. Let me read it for you. So 
So this is the cornstarch pudding. Uh, it took 3.5 minutes to boil, and now we'll measure the temperature. Make sure that the temperature probe doesn't touch the bottom. So I just added the five grams of butter. I'm gonna be mixing it. And this is the waxy cornstarch. I also added the five grams of butter uh, and the uh, pure cornstarch, and I'll be mixing it. After the samples have cooled down, I poured the cornstarch and waxy cornstarch samples into custard cups. Now, we will test the samples using texture analyzer. So this is how you open the program. So we go to the TA, TA settings, library, go to return to start. And these are the standards. And we hit OK, and we can start. Okay, pure cornstarch pudding, first sample. Run a test. Okay, uh, this is the pure cornstarch pudding results. Sample one, choose the high speed. This is the force. Sample two, choose the high speed. This is the force. Waxy cornstarch pudding sample one. Run the test. All right, this is the waxy cornstarch pudding results. Sample number one. Choose the high speak. Number two. Sample number three, and record the fourth. Last sample, high speed. All right, I'll show you guys the texture of the cornstarch pudding. And this is the waxy cornstarch. This concludes the starch lab.